Bless his holy name. Praise God. I give honor to our pastor, Hadish, under shepherd of this house. Hallelujah. Pastor Carl Johnson. Hallelujah. Praise God. I honor you on today. Praise God. And to co-pastor Gloria Johnson in her absence, well, we bless and honor you. And to Pastor Graham, I honor you on today. And Sister Jan Graham, praise God, I honor you on today. And to all the elder Craig, elder Joy, and all the other elders, hallelujah, of this house, hallelujah. And praise God, I honor you, Deaconette Sister Renee Robinson, hallelujah. Bless your hearts today. And all my father's children, I honor you today. I honor our visitors, Sister Dee Dee and Sister uh, Sharon and Carl Jenkins and my nephew, Jadon, hallelujah. I give honor to you today and thank God for another day. Oh, bless his holy name. God is so good today, saints. He's worthy to be praised, hallelujah. Oh, we thank him for his goodness and his mercy. Hallelujah. We glorify his name. Be glorified in the heavens. Be glorified in the earth. Hallelujah. Be glorified in the temple. Oh, bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Praise God. There is a word on today. Hallelujah. Father God, we come before your throne of grace, Lord. Father God, we come in the name of Jesus, Lord God, as humble as we know how. We come with a heart, Lord Jesus, thanksgiving and asking, Lord, that you will forgive us for our sins on today, that you'll cleanse us and wash us in your blood today, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, and we ask in Lord Jesus that you would, oh God, Lord Jesus, renew a new righteous spirit in us today, Lord God. Let us all be on one accord today, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we say thank you. And Satan, we serve you. Notice that you are not welcome here. And we command you to go in the name of Jesus. We come against any audio, video, any type of trouble. We come against any type of sickness and disease. We bind you in the name of Jesus and we cast you out. You are not a welcome in this service. You are not welcome in this service. And we take authority in the name of Jesus. And we stand on God's word. Jesus said in Matthew 24, as Pastor Graham read it this morning, hallelujah, there was a scripture in there that says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall never pass away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord today. Hallelujah. I ask that you'll go with me on today. Hallelujah. To the book of St. Matthew's. Hallelujah. The fifth chapter of Matthew. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The fifth chapter of Matthew's. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. And we'll be starting at the fifth verse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the first word that reads, I would say to each and every one of we are that. We are blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless. Hallelujah. Let's read it together. Bless is in the uh, in, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is that the one we read in Matthew 5 7? Yes, sir. Yeah, 5 7. Okay, hallelujah. Matthew 5 7. Let us read together. Bless are the merciful, they shall receive mercy. Hallelujah. Thus reading the word of God. May God add a blessing to the reader of his holy word. Hallelujah. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Hallelujah. Jesus spoke that and said it. Hallelujah. That the merciful shall receive, shall obtain mercy, shall succeed mercy. Hallelujah. And just for a moment, I would like to use for a thought on this morning in the name of Jesus. God, grace and mercy in need of today, like never before. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his holy name. Praise God. God's grace and mercy. Hallelujah. 
God's grace, God's mercy, it's so magnificent in our lives. Magnificent. God, let's just talk about his grace for a moment. God's grace. And we thank Jesus for God's grace that he took the ultimate sacrifice and he went to the cross for me and you. Hallelujah. Praise God and the grace of God after Satan thought that he had and thought everything was over when Adam sinned in the Garden of Eden. That Satan thought it was all over. But the grace of God said, I'm going to come in the form of man through my son, Jesus, who knew no sin, who was perfect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we thank the Lord for Jesus. He said, this is my son. Hallelujah. And he will die for the sins of the world. Hallelujah. When Adam sinned in the garden, we realized that in the name of Jesus, that hallelujah, that everything that took place, Jesus already said, Father, I'll go. Hallelujah. I'll go to pay the ultimate sacrifice. And I thank the Lord for Jesus because God's grace is so magnificent that he said I'm going to give my only son it's not going to end here I love my people I find value in my people praise God and I thank the Lord for what he has done God's grace and mercy in need of today like never before hallelujah so Jesus he went and he paid the price for our sins hung on the cross Hallelujah. When they, hallelujah, did him wrong. As he stayed on the cross, he could have said, Father, take this cup from me. He could have said, I'm calling 10,000 angels to tap out. But Jesus said, I'm going through. I'm going to die for the sins of the world. God's grace and mercy, hallelujah. And even in the point of, let's just talk about God's grace for a moment. Let me go back. We're going to go back to the cross in a moment. But thinking about God's grace alone, as he sits on the throne, and he's sitting there and he beholding all evil and good, hallelujah. And one thing that you can know in for sure the Bible said that we can go to the grace, come to the grace boldly, hallelujah, the throne of grace, the throne of grace. We can come to the throne of grace boldly, hallelujah. And you know what that means, saints of God? The throne of grace where you're going to find love, where you're going to find kindness in God, where you're going to find oh, humility, hallelujah, where you're going to find, praise God, long suffering, slow to anger, that when you go to the grace, uh, when you go to the, hallelujah, the throne of God, you're going to find all these wonderful things because God himself is love, hallelujah, and his kindness, and he's gracious to his people, hallelujah. Praise God. And just thinking about the grace of God, hallelujah, if it wasn't for the grace of God, Hallelujah. Where would I be? Hallelujah. Where would you be? And I just thank God for his grace that when we go to him, we go to the throne of grace. He hears his children. Hallelujah. He hears us in all times. Uh, I don't care what time, I don't care what time that you go to him. He's there. Hallelujah. To listen and to hear your call. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his holy name. And let's think about for a moment when Paul, hallelujah, he said, Lord, remove this thorn from my flesh. He said, remove this thorn from my flesh, hallelujah. And, G and God said, hallelujah, I'm so used to saying Jesus because there's power in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. And I just thank the Lord for Jesus, hallelujah. And God said, Paul, my grace is sufficient for you. Hallelujah. My grace is sufficient for you. Hallelujah. 
that means that it's enough, hallelujah. And God's grace, it goes deeper than deep, deeper than deep. Now, I heard that the Atlantic Ocean is deep, hallelujah. I heard that the Titanic sits on the ocean floor of the Atlantic Ocean, is that right? But for one thing, and it seems that the, uh, the, 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 lo the ocean is deep, two miles down, two and a half miles down, hallelujah. But one thing you have to understand, that God's grace is even deeper than that, hallelujah. It's deeper than a deep of deeps, hallelujah. And before we even got here, hallelujah, I tell you that God's grace was there, hallelujah. And think about it for a moment, praise God, that he carried us, hallelujah, when we didn't carry ourselves. Now, what is grace? Grace is something, praise God, that you didn't even earn but God gave it to you. Grace is something that God gave us when we didn't even deserve it. Hallelujah. I want to bless you with this. I want to, but, but, but Lord, uh, uh, why are you blessing me that? Because I love you and I bless you and my grace is upon you. That's the God we serve, y'all. That for a fact, you don't have to worry about uh, anything because if you know that if you in him, praise God, that everything that you need he has it. Hallelujah. And we thank the Lord that we serve a mighty God. Hallelujah. So in everything, I want you all in here to just get loose. Hallelujah. And just think about the goodness of our Lord and God who created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. And I want you to know today that he's not sitting there wondering like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I, God, I'll tell you one thing. You better know who you serve today, saints of God. We serve a risen Savior. We say we serve our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And we thank God for his goodness and praise God. I know in everything you can think about the goodness of, of God. When, hallelujah, in Exodus, the fifth chapter, praise God, the Israelites, when the children of Israel was crying out. And to the Lord, hallelujah. And, and, and Pharaoh and his, you know how Pharaoh, he's a bully. Huh? And he was doing what he doing, hallelujah. Uh, um, somebody need to, uh, what's this guy's name uh, who's, uh, who's over, uh, uh, what's Gaza somewhere? What's the Hamas? He, he needs to talk to Pharaoh. Because you don't mess with God's folks, hallelujah. You don't mess with the children of Israel. You, 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 you done barked at the wrong tree. But for one thing, you have to know that God, he's merciful. He's loving, but he's a God of wrath. And so in everything, praise God. But think about the children of Israel that was in the wilderness, hallelujah, that was in eating slop and, 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 they was, and, and they cried out to the Lord. Lord, and God said, I'm going to take you, praise God, from this wilderness, from the Canaan land, and bring you to a land that flows with milk and honey. Hallelujah. Talking about our God, praise God, and the grace of our God. Hallelujah. I just thank him today because, for one thing, even when the children of Israel, as they was going and Moses was leading them to the promised land, what happened? They start murmuring and complaining. That's they do that. They start murmuring and complaining. Well, Lord, what is this and what is that? And, uh, uh, you know, did, you, he, did, did Moses lead us out here to die in the desert and all that? And even then, saints of God, God was still gracious. He was still loving. Even when they decided that they were going to serve other gods, God was still loving. Hallelujah. His grace. Hallelujah. Praise God was still sufficient, hallelujah. He said in his word. So for one thing is that in, in, in everything, God's grace showing that there is no measure of it, hallelujah. There's no measure of his love. And he kept on being faithful, hallelujah, to the children of Israel. Let's go a little further down. Let's go back to the cross. Let's talk about the mercy of God. Hallelujah. The mercy of God, saints. Think about the mercy of God. Hallelujah. That Jesus, hallelujah, as he hung on the cross and when they were spitting on him and pulling his beard and calling him in legitimate child and all these things that they were calling Jesus. Hallelujah. But guess what? 
mercy. Hallelujah. Let's talk about the thief that was right next to Jesus on the cross. He said, Lord, remember me. Mercy at the cross. Hallelujah. From this day forth, thou shalt be with me in paradise. Hallelujah. He showed mercy. Hallelujah. While he was suffering, he showed mercy. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his holy name. Hallelujah. I just thank the Lord. I'm just getting excited. I'm getting excited. I, as long as I know this, this podium here, I, 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 I'll get back to it. But I'm just getting to the, I can't even be still. Just thinking about the goodness of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And think about something else, saints of God. Hallelujah. That even though the Pharisees and all of them was doing what they blaspheming, guess what he said? Mercy again. Hallelujah. Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. Hallelujah. We talking about the mercy of our Lord that endures forever. Hallelujah. The mercy of our God. That's why Jesus said to us, hallelujah, that we shall show mercy too. Uh-oh. It's quiet in here, y'all. Um, it's getting quiet in here, y'all. We have to show mercy. Hallelujah. We have to bless those that curse us. We have to bless those that despitefully use us. Hallelujah. Oh, we got to get, honey. Boy, let me tell you. We got to know that in points of that God wants us to show mercy. Hallelujah. Uh, that he showed mercy on us. Hallelujah. There was a time or a time or another when you needed mercy. Hallelujah. Uh, as you were driving down the street and you know you had some warrants. Hallelujah. And all of a sudden you see that blue and red light get behind you. Mercy. Have mercy on me Lord Jesus. Because you knew you were going either to jail. Your car was going to get impounded. Come on. Let's get where we live at today y'all. Oh yeah. We needed some mercy. Yes we did. Hallelujah. When we know in everything that when he put up and the officer put up, let me see your driver's license and rental proof registration of the vehicle, please. Uh, uh, I, I got to, I got my, uh, I, 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 I was gonna go get him today, but with an officer, he sent. And all of a sudden, the officer stands up looking at you. He don't have his driver's license. 24, 17, 24, 24. Okay, sir. I'll be right back. You got an ID on you? Yeah. You praying right there in the car. You praying, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, please. Do, 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 do. And he come back and he'll say, all right, Mr. Mosley, um, I'm going to write you a ticket. You know, no, no insurance, no driver's license. You're going to show up in court next week. And um, you're just your court date and everything. And, and at that time, if you got your driver's license and your um, proof of insurance, I'm sure the judge may dismiss it. Take care. Have a good day. Mercy, hallelujah. I'm talking about mercy when you need it, hallelujah. Hallelujah, because we ain't always had it together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We ain't always had it together. Let's tell the truth. One thing I heard Fred Hammond said, he said, I know some of y'all been good all your little life. <laughs> Praise God. But he said, that's not my testimony. He said, when I could have been cut off. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for Fred Hammond. Praise God, because I remember that part of the song. Hallelujah. And I just thank him. Hallelujah. Because the Lord, he has shown mercy to us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's go a little further, y'all. What about hallelujah? And I want you to know in Psalms 103, the 17th verse said, but the Lord mercy is everlasting to everlasting. Those that fear him to even to your children's children. Hallelujah. Everlasting to everlasting. That's a long time. That's forever, y'all. So in knowing this, you should be excited even more because you know that God's mercy is everlasting to everlasting. Hallelujah. From generation to generation. What's that song we sang here? Lord, you are good and your mercies endure it forever. Nation from nation of tongue, uh, from generation to generation. Hallelujah. The mercy of God. There's mercy, y'all. Hallelujah. The prodigal son decided. It was two sons. The youngest son said, hmm. 
I don't want to have to wait to get my inheritance. I want it now. It's my money and I want it now. You didn't heard that on TV, have y'all? Yeah. Hallelujah. So the young son wanted to go out and sow his royal oats. All these things. And so what happened? He goes. The father said, okay, that's what you want. Okay, here you go. There you go. Gone off to a far country. Gone off. Gone off far. But even though he was far, saints of God, guess what? And this is in St. Luke, the 15th chapter. Even though he was gone off to a far land, I think I read somewhere in the Bible where it said, hallelujah, that where sin abound, grace much more abound. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so think about this for a moment. He was far off in another country, but God said, and even in his word, that you are not out of my reach where I can't reach down and pull you back. Hallelujah. And all of a sudden, as the son went out there, did all he did, spent up all his money, drinking all the liquor he wanted, Hennessy, J and B, Christian brothers. Well, I don't know what it was. And Cavassier, come on. Hennessy, all these different liquors. Jack Daniel, oh Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. And my daddy used to drink that smeared off, 100 proof vodka. My God. <laughs> and just thinking about all these different, hallelujah. And he was just getting toasted and, uh, and, and all the women that he wanted. Don't that sound like us? When we have money, everybody wants to be our friend. Everybody wants to be around us. Everybody wants to be a part of us. Hallelujah. I experienced that some early days in my life. Hallelujah. I remember having money and having a new car. And uh, who's to say that I was doing everything righteously? God was not pleased, but out there. But God showed mercy on me. Hallelujah. And there was a time. Hallelujah. We all had a time in our life. So here's the prodigal son, and next thing you know, all of a sudden, all the money was gone, and guess what? You know the day's time, because you hear it on the radio today. You know, you're gonna pay my telephone bill, pay my automobile. I don't, you know those songs? It's about the money. And as soon as the money is gone, they gone, hallelujah. So, uh, you, uh, um, uh, product, uh, you, you don't have no more money? Uh, no, I'm all out. Uh, <laughs> see you later. And guess what? When the prodigal son found himself in the mud, in the mud, saints of God, eating slop with the pigs, <laughs> eating all these things, just trying to get you to see this in a detailed way. So you can see the goodness and the faithfulness of our Lord and God. So all of a sudden, he came to himself. You know the story. Heading, I got to get back to my father's house. Hallelujah. You may have strayed away. Hallelujah. Many of you may have strayed and may be in a backslidden condition. So as he was heading back home, what did he say in his mind? Once he came to himself, he said, you know, I'm going to go back to my father's house and I'm going to be a slave. I'm going to have that slave mentality because I'm not worthy to receive, to be a son again. He was a son when you left home. You was a son, hallelujah, when you asked for the money. You was a son when you was with them women out there and drinking. You were still a son. Hallelujah. And as he traveled going back home and the father observing, beholding and looking and see, wait a minute. Is that my son? Is that my son? He didn't say, the father didn't say, oh, that's him. 
he said, that's my son. He ran to him. He ran to him, saints of God, talking about the mercy and the grace of God. And the next thing you know, he ran to his son. He gave him a hug, gave him a kiss, and he said, Give him the finest robe. Hallelujah. Give him the finest shoes for his feet. New ring on his family, on his, on his finger. Hallelujah. Kill the fatty calf. And let's celebrate. I want you to know today, saints of God, when you come back, if you've been lost or if you don't know Jesus Christ in the pardon of your sins, I want you to know when you come to Jesus and you give your life, hallelujah, the Bible tells us, hallelujah, the angels in heaven rejoice over one soul, hallelujah, and the father, he's standing there, he's sitting there waiting for you to come back. He loves you. He's not going to say, uh, I don't know you unless you decide that you don't want to accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior. And guess what? When you come back, he washes all your sin because all he see is the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. He don't see you as in where you was. He see the best in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in that, hallelujah, that's the beautiful thing. Let's go a little further, y'all. The mercy of God. As Jesus was teaching in the temple, I believe, correct me as I'm wrong, and all of a sudden, here comes the Pharisee. Lord, this woman here was caught in adultery, and I say we shall stone her. And Jesus, he just looked. Just looked, and they was waiting too. Shoot, let me get the, you know. I'm going to get the biggest rock I can find. I'm going to get her. I'm going to get the, yeah, yeah, me too. I want that one right over there. Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, let me just practice a little bit. Jesus said. He without sin. Let him toss the first stone at her. Can you see mercy? Can you see mercy? And guess what? Jesus said it once. He didn't have to say it no more. He said it once. And when he said it, they looked at each other like, I think I'm going to just, you know what, just ease on up out of here a little bit. You know how we get it. You know how we get it. I think I'm going to just ease on the body. <laughs> My God couldn't say nothing. And what did Jesus say? What did he ask the woman? Where are thou that condemn you? They're gone. I don't see them, Lord. I don't condemn you either. Go and sin no more. Talking about the mercy of God, hallelujah. Talking about the goodness of God, hallelujah. The goodness of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord today, saints. He's so worthy to be praised, hallelujah. Just thinking about all you see what took place, hallelujah. The mercies, hallelujah. The grace of God, the goodness, hallelujah. And praise God, I just thank the Lord today, y'all. Because I'm going to tell you, because there was a time in my life when I didn't always go by the righteous things of doing and was raised in church. Hallelujah. Came from Carver Foursquare Gospel Church, Compton, California. Not Fred Hammond, but Curtis Hammond was my pastor. Hallelujah. And then all of a sudden, later on, going to Carlin Avenue Foursquare in Linwood, Dr. Paul Hackett was my pastor. I knew right from wrong. And as time went on in life, after getting in my early 30s, 34 years of age, got a job working, hallelujah, as a security guard. And God blessed me to have that job, but I allowed the tempter to come and cause me to do some things that's not right. Taking some things from the job that did not belong to me, my God, my God. But the grace of God showed mercy because when I went and they asked me, did you do these things? 
And I said, yes, it was me. Because at first, the tempter would say, no, don't tell him that. I had control, saints. I had control over everything at that job. I was able to either turn the cameras off if I wanted to do whatever I wanted to. I can turn the cameras off. But in everything, end up going before this job, going for management, and they asked me what that took place, and I told them. They said, well, Mr. Mosley, why did you do it? I don't know why I did it. I guess it was a financial gain, taking items and taking them and taking them and taking them to pawn. I'm going to show you the mercy of God. So what happened was I ended up being charged. This was in December of 1998 as I give my testimony. And then all of a sudden, as time went on, January had my first court appearance as I stood there and the judge said, okay, Mr. Mosley, you pleading guilty in this case? Yes, I'm pleading guilty in this case. And so she said, okay, you'll come back two weeks from today. Went back was sentenced. Oh, it's getting quiet in here now. But that's all right, because you need to know. We need to know that even in a certain time that we may get in trouble, that God is still with us, that the mercy of God is still with the Jesus is there walking with us in our circumstances. So what happened was I end up going and all of a sudden, I'm going to tell you something, when you speak the truth, the enemy going to always try his best to make you think that you did the wrong thing. He's going to try to make wrong look like right and right look like wrong. Come on, somebody, tell me about it. And so what happened was, as I went forth, all of a sudden, the grace of God. So the public defender came in the office where I was just before I was to go see the judge the second time. Well, Mr. Mosley, well, uh, I'm the public defender, and I'm just here to tell you, you know, see, I could have worked with you if you would have lied a little bit and told them that you did, you didn't do this, then I, you give me something to work with. But by you saying that you did this and did that, you know, and you, and you tied my hands. <laughs> and it's nothing I can do. That's exactly what she said. And she said this, I'm going to tell you what they, what they want to give you. They want to give you three years in jail. What? Three years in jail? Now, let me just tell you something. Let me just tell y'all something. Uh, I had been in uh, jail for before for some traffic tickets. And I tell you, let me tell you this. If y'all never been to jail, I have. I'm going to tell you, you don't want to go. Because I tell you, you know, when the Bible said that and the word of God has said that, praise God, that one day be as of a thousand years as if we be with the Lord. Well, how about one day in county jail seem like a thousand years? Because time be going so slow. You'd be like, Lord, have mercy. And what time? And then you try to do, you try to sleep your way out of the, the time that you got. You try to sleep your way. And wake up. What time? Is, oh, man, uh, it's, it's 12 o'clock, man. It's just, and I was like, Lord, have mercy. My God. Time was going so slow. And then what happened, y'all? All of a sudden. So I went up and the judge said, Mr. Mosley, we are sentenced to you. You plead guilty in this case to three years in county jail. And I was like, three years? That's a long time. Oh, wow. So I was kind of distraught. And he said, okay, Mr. Mosley. The judge said, take care of yourself. I hope you do better. Okay. Goes back to the back. Now watch grace and mercy. See, God is there too. <laughs> when he say he's there, he's there. That's why when you build a covenant with the Lord, hallelujah, he got you, hallelujah. When you have a relationship with the Lord, he got you, saints of God, hallelujah. Not that you go out there looking for trouble, but if you so happen to get in trouble, hallelujah, he's there. And so what happened, saints? So as I was on my way back, the sheriff deputy lady, she was walking, and so I noticed something. Now, when you go to jail, now when you go to court and you, and once you come out of court and you go back to the court's holding cell, there are other inmates in there that needs to, you know, the place is packed because there are a lot of people, cases haven't been called. 
But why, saints of God, L.A. County, Purdue Avenue in West Los Angeles, I go to the court in the back, and all of a sudden, I looked, and there was no one in the cell. Talking about grace and mercy. So what happened was, the deputy, she opened the doors, and then she said, here, Mr. Mosley, here's your lunch. Bologna sandwich, apple, cookie, milk, and all of a sudden, in a brown paper bag, and then all of a sudden, and normally you get one lunch, y'all, favor working with grace and mercy. She said, Mr. Mosley, here you go, here's two. Here's two. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Because y'all didn't know what's about to take place. All of a sudden, I was sitting there eating real slow, thinking about the fact of three years. Three years, y'all, three years is three years. My God. And all of a sudden, reminded me being in the wilderness eating bologna sandwiches. Hallelujah. And guess what happened, saints of God? As I was sitting there, sheriff deputy. And you know what I truly believe? I truly believe that God had his angels to block that whole floor. That, in other words, he said, I have a saint up here. Uh, uh, and see, the thing about it, oh, Lord, I did wrong. I'm not worthy. But guess what happened? So she came back. She said, Mr. Mosley, can I talk with you for a moment? So I got up and I went to the gate. She was on the other side of the gate. She said, can I ask you a question? Do you know Jesus Christ is your personal savior? A sheriff deputy, y'all. L.A. County Sheriff Deputy. She said, yeah, Mr. Mosley. Yes, I do. She said, yes, I, I kind of figured that. You mind if I pray with you? She said, Lord, in the name of Jesus, touch Mr. Mosley. You know his every need. You know everything he done. And God, we thank you, Jesus, that you will forgive. I can just remember those words as she prayed. And then she told me this. She said, Mr. Mosley, she said, it's going to be okay. God has you. He has you. And she said, I don't know if I ever see you again because today is my last day being a deputy sheriff. I'm moving back to Hawaii. My God. And that was 26 years ago, saints. And then I'm sitting there with tears in my eyes trying to figure it out. And the next thing you know, grace and mercy was all in favor. So all of a sudden, it was on February the 2nd, 1999. And then all of a sudden, get back to jail, way say out there in Valencia, California. And then, well, I'm here doing my three years, ready to go. And I'm sitting there and, and, and let me just tell you this. People was giving me all their opinions before I went to jail, before I, before I even went to the second hearing. Man, all you got to do is, is say this. And they was mocking me of the truth. But man, guess what he did? Man, he, he confessed to the crime. Man, you did, man. They all just having a good time. But God said the truth. Thou shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Hallelujah. And guess what, saints? So after all getting sentenced, and it was on February the 3rd, all of a sudden, the deputy sheriff came. He said, when I call your name, give me your last three. I still remember my last three, nine, three, four. Hallelujah. Nine, three, four. And then all of a sudden, he said, and some more men, he called us, and we all went in this boardroom, and he said, the reason why we call you in here today, because we want to know if you guys want to go home. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Do you guys want to go home? What they're going to do, if you do, you still be in custody, but you get to go home. Now, let me ask you, I may not be able to see you, but let me ask you a question. How many in here would love to either be in jail doing your time or be at home doing your time? I don't even have to, I don't even have to see the names. I don't even have to see the hands because I already know what it is. Hallelujah. You'd be able to be at home watching TV, Family Feud, and 
or whether you be at home and, and, and being able to still go to church. So what happened was, I get on the phone and they answer, a lady said, okay, well, you have a house? Yes, uh, yeah, my mother has a house, okay, fine. And after all said and done, my testimony is just about over with. And then all of a sudden, y'all, okay, she said, if you will be eligible, you'll be getting released within the next 24 hours. And then all of a sudden, it was February the 4th, and then by 11 o'clock at night, when I call your name, roll it up. Johnny Rail, roll it up. Tony Green, roll it up. Kelvin Mosley, roll it up. Give me back. And there it was. She said, if you guys, I called your name, you're going home. Do you know that was February the 5th when I got back to county jail downtown Los Angeles and I was released on that day? Not with an ankle bracelet from Kevin Jewelers, not with an uh, 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 ankle bracelet from, um, uh, from all the other jewelry places, but it was a monitor that goes on your ankle. And all of a sudden, saints, I end up being on house arrest at home from February to 5th, 1999, to September the 10th, 1999. And that was it. The mercy and the grace of God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his holy name today, y'all. And so God, he's letting us see. Hallelujah. That's why in everything, when you accept him as your personal savior, when you come back to the Lord, hallelujah, like in, I think it's Psalms 103. And I think it's the first verse. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, my soul, forget not his benefits. Many benefits in serving the Lord today. So that's what happened. And so, but in everything, saints of God, hallelujah, we can rejoice today because you know what? God is still the same God as he was for Isaac and Jacob. He's still the same God, hallelujah, even in the point. He's still the same God, hallelujah, praise his name, hallelujah, that, that brought the children, hallelujah, from Pharaoh and his army, hallelujah. He's still the same God that Jesus prayed to say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. The same God, y'all. So in everything, I would tell you this, a word of encouragement, hold on tight to your Savior. Hold on and don't let go. Hallelujah. Continue to worship him and praise him with everything you got. Because God, hallelujah, praise God that he is faithful. Hallelujah. He's faithful through all our circumstances. You know this. I, I don't really have to say much. But I want you to be encouraged today, saints of God. And to know that grace and mercy is a need for us to have. And even though we do not deserve, hallelujah, his grace, he gave it to us. Be blessed today, saints. And I would say this, let's show mercy to someone. Show mercy to someone. Hallelujah. We have children, their parents in here. You never know. It may be your daughter. It may be your son. Your son might say, um, I joined the game today. Still love him. Still show him love. Still show him mercy. Your daughter may say, I know I'm only 14, but I'm pregnant. Still show them mercy. Don't go and say, huh, well, you going to a girl's home. I, you know, I, I, I knew you was doing something. You was coming in late. No. You grab them and say, we in this together, daughter. Because that's what God would do. Hallelujah. We are living in a time now, saints, that we have to know that mercy, hallelujah, grace and mercy is around us. Let's just take advantage of it and not abuse it, but to give what God has given us. Give, give what God given us mercy. Let's show mercy. Hallelujah.
Let's bless the Lord today. Do you receive the message of the Lord today? Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father God, we want to say thank you. And we praise you and we glorify you. Right Hi, now. the scripture says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But God provided a way for us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him shall not die, but shall live forever. That means you don't have to go to hell. The scripture says if you believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, and if you confess with your mouth that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For by confessing with the mouth, you so are justified, and by believing with the heart, you are saved. So if you feel that tug in your spirit, that's God choosing you and giving you a chance to come to him. Just repeat after me this simple sinner's prayer. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner, and I ask you to forgive me for my sins. I ask you to allow your son Jesus to come into my heart with, this, with your sweet Holy Spirit. I believe that he died for my sins and that he rose from the dead on the third day and is seated at your right hand. Amen. If you did that, you are in the family of God. Tell somebody about it. And also pray that he'll send you to a Bible-believing church. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.